This everybody is Guild Wars 2 and this is the Halloween event. This is the Clock Tower which is without a doubt not one of the most difficult but one of the most satisfying jumping puzzles I've played in any game ever. Now Guild Wars 2 does have a few jumping challenges in it like um, just in the main game they're scattered around and a couple if you complete them you get rewards so it does very much take jumping challenges into consideration with the movement system. However it's not great, it is sometimes clumsy and it takes a real knack to get used to it. But this Clock Tower it is one of the best jumping challenges that I've done. I just love it so much. It's so satisfying when you complete it. It's so difficult. And it's one of those ones where you like you get a little bit further every time. And it just builds up the knowledge of how to do it. And when you finally do it, when you finally pull it off, it feels so good. So I'm going to attempt to do this and actually record myself doing it. Because I've done it a lot. It does usually take an hour or two to complete. I've completed it once with this current edition of it. And last time, like last Halloween when it was out... I completed it three or four times, but here we go. Oh, I'm going to fail this so bad. If I manage to one-shot it, which is very, very unlikely, then I'm going to be happy. Especially seeing as I'm now playing at 30 FPS because I'm recording. I'm used to playing at 60 FPS. But this is it. There is a time limit, so if you wait, the green fog will rise, and then you'll get taken by it. There's also other people doing it at the same time. I don't know why they stand there. It's so much better to stand here because you have a height advantage. But then a bit will break off, and you can jump over, and... There, like as I said, it is really difficult. You need to know all the shortcuts, otherwise you will be taken. You need to know, like you can see, nearly everyone's dead already. And this goes on for a good minute or so. You need to know the exact route you're going. You need to... Oh my god, I can't believe everyone's dead already. But basically, if you let go of W, if you let go of walk forward, then you will die because you'll be going too slow. You need to go as fast as possible. You need to know exactly where you're going and you can't screw up at all. And I think I'm about halfway through now, I consider this for halfway point, so... Oh god, oh god, that bit I hate so much because you have to jump back. And there's there's a part coming up here, everyone got confused here, you have to jump down, which... Oh fuck! Oh my god! I didn't jump! You have to jump down on that bit and everyone just wastes time looking around. I think I got the furthest out of everyone in that group. But god, oh my, my heart's beating already. The fact that there's so much time pressure and one little mistake will fuck you over so badly. It, it gets your... Oh, I hate to say this because it's so lame. It sounds so incredibly lame to someone who doesn't play games. Um, it really gets your adrenaline going. The fact that it's so tense and one mistake will screw, well, fuck you over, basically. But I got about to the halfway point there in my first attempt. And this is the first time I touched Guild Wars 2 in a couple of days. But, oh god, that was so tense. Why does everyone stand there? It's so annoying. Also, I didn't expect to be able to do this whilst talking. Because I guess all my talking is mostly just routine. Not routine, but... Um, not monotic. Oh god, I'm taking the short route. This is what happens. I'm trying to think and talk at the same time. I can't do that. When talking is mostly just me saying things as they come to my head. I'm not thinking about what I say. And then as you can see, I've already slowed down because of that. That guy fell off. I don't understand how... Fuck! Damn it! The simple mistakes. The simple mistakes are so annoying. Oh god. And now for attempt number three. The thing is, usually with this, or from my experience in the past anyway, you get really far on the first turn, and then you just make stupid mistakes. Like, I don't know why it happens, but I guess it might be down to arrogance or something. It might be down to cockiness. Because after the first time, you're not doing it out of memory, you're doing it out of routine. Your short-term memory remembers the route you went through the first time, and you're not thinking about it as much. How are they so slow? I don't understand why they go the long route. Oh god, oh god, that's not that... I don't even know what happened there. Attempt number four now, and I'm just going to quickly say, I'm doing this video not only because I'm in love with the clock tower, and I enjoy going through it so much, but because... What? I, I'm, what? I don't know why that message has come up. But I really love Guild Wars 2. I've put about 200... In fact, no, I think it's 300 hours into it. And I've made, what, one or two videos? I would love to do more videos on this game, because it's such a great game. It's the first proper MMORPG I've played, and... Oh, what? I rolled! Oh. Attempt number five. You can see what I mean, because nearly every time I'm doing... I'm getting worse. I'm not thinking about it. I'm doing it autonomously, as opposed to actually um, doing it from memory, as I said a couple of attempts ago. I don't know why the people rush this first part, because you always have to wait when you get to this point. People just rush ahead. Also, last year, if you didn't know, People weren't just blobs, or they weren't glowing ectoplasm. You did see their full character skins, and occasionally you got the Norns or the Chars who were absolutely- FUCK! You got the Norns or the Chars who were absolutely huge, and they wore all kind of huge flaming armor, and they got in the way, you couldn't see shit. It was basically a giant zerg, and you couldn't see where you were going, they were getting in the way in everything. Attempt number six now, and as I said, I'm literally getting worse every single turn. It's so annoying. It's like- some kind of curse when doing the Mad King's Clock Tower. You get worse every time, and every time you learn how to do a bit, 
you just can't get to that bit. Oh my god! This is so... Attempt number seven now, and I, I don't know what's happening. The curse is getting to me. It... Shut up! I, I am active. Can you not see me getting angry and frustrated with this clock tap? It's an amazing puzzle design. It's really well done, and I love it, but it's so frustrating. The thing is, you don't get frustrated with the map. You don't get frustrated with the game. You get frustrated with yourself more than anything, and that is the annoying thing. It's... Oh! Attempt number eight. Fuck. This... I, I don't know. I don't even know what's happening. I honestly have no idea. Uh, my first attempt, I got the furthest out of all the attempts, and ever since, I've, I've gradually gotten shittier and shittier, making more and more stupid mistakes. I have no idea what's doing it. But I know I can complete this. I know I can do it. And I don't want to stop until I have done it. And that's the thing. Every time you start doing this clock tower, it's just for, oh, one more go, one more go. I know I can do it. That gets to you. It is really annoying. Oh, finally, I think I've actually regained my composure now. now I'm not going to talk too much during through this run through because I don't want to, um, yeah, I don't want to regret everything I just said. Oh, God, can I do it? I hate the staircase part because I always used to miss out when I was an inexperienced noob. And this cog part, I hate this cog part the most because it's very unstable and you always, or you usually always slip off. So, oh, God, oh, God, this bit. I hate it. Ooh, there's someone with me. That's a rare sight. I really like it when there's someone with me because it means you can like race them and jump down. Actually, remember to jump this time, and then that bit breaks off and jump. It. Oh, I shouldn't be talking. I should not have been talking. I stuck to the left side, and that's another one of those stupid cogs where you can slide off. Oh, I think the time has ran out. So yeah, we're not going to get this. Damn, that is so annoying. That is so so annoying. Yeah, this person doesn't know what's going on. It didn't have this last year for some reason. I'm the top scorer somehow. I think mean, that's just that means I came third. At Did did only two people get further than me? Seriously. I only got like halfway through. Attempt number nine, and I don't know how it's going to go this time. I, I don't even know how many attempts I'm going to do. I, I thought I would somehow be able to one-shot it or do something like that, but apparently that's not possible. Um, I, I don't know if I should just keep going until I finish or until I get pissed off, or I don't know. Because this could, honestly, it has gone on for hours before when I'm, until I've actually been able to complete it, and I thought I was going to fall there. I honestly thought I was going to fall there. I think this is attempt number... Yeah, this is attempt number nine, isn't it? Oh, God. Oh, God. All right. I've gone to this point, which means all the stupid, simple mistakes are out of the way. So from here on, it's just a matter of web... Attempt number ten, I think. I, I think... I'm not skipping any of these. I'm literally showing every attempt I make and every mistake I make. But, oh, God. I, I don't want this video to be too long. I, I thought... I, why did I think I'd be able to one-shot it? I have no idea. I, I'm just an idiot. But... I know that, seeing as I've barely done any Guild Wars 2 videos, barely any people are going to be able to watch this. This is more of a video for the people who watch all my videos and just like seeing me pissed off, I guess. I can say this or something. I don't know, but I want to do this. It's kind of a challenge for myself to see if I can do it off cam- to see if I can do it on camera as opposed to just off camera. See if I can talk whilst doing it, because- fuck. If I want to get into Dota 2 videos more, I need to be able to concentrate and talk whilst playing. I need to think about what I'm saying, I need to be thinking whilst saying things, I need to be actual able to play and say coherent sentences whilst doing things which require you to think and are stressful. Attempt number 11, by the way, oh my, if I don't complete this on camera, I'm probably not going to upload the video, I'm, I'm just going to be ashamed with myself, Jesus fuck. So glad I just, in fact, no, I'll quickly mention, I, um, you may have noticed I rolled off earlier, which means when you double tap the forward button and you dodge, usually the way I did that was by not letting go of W, because if you let go of W, you're losing speed, and also if you let go of W, you're more inclined to double tap it by accident. But I've never had that problem in the past, I just don't let go of W. However, I don't know, I don't trust myself this time, because I'm trying to talk, so I'm not going to be concentrating, so I'm going to be a bit more lenient on the W button, I think. There we go. No, no, no. Uh, I'm about wasted, about wasted too much time. I'm probably gonna fall into the fog now. That's gonna break off in two, one. There we go. Oh god, I know the timing's too well. I stay to the right side this time. And is this the furthest I've gotten? I think it is. Which means I jump over here. I go to the right side, and I jump over there. And I'm gonna stop talking before I screw up. Can I? Can I? Yes. 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 This is the end, everybody. This is the end. And then I got so confused here. At one point, I had no idea what to do. And I was just like, wait, what do I do? I think I ended up jumping off or running back, but when I finally got to the end, I screwed up. But what you need to do is wait, when suddenly, bam, and you jump towards it. And, clock tower complete. 11 attempts, I am happy with myself. And then you get the treasure chest, and 
It's always so surprising how no one else makes it. It's, it, make, it gives you such a smug feeling that you're the only person who made it or you're the furthest ahead of group. And 20... Don't even know what they are. I don't do crafting, but fuck it, it was worth it. This is the Clock Tower, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Fuck me. Fuck 11 attempts. Oh, why did I think I could... I don't fucking know. I'm angry. I am angry even though I completed it. I wanted to do it in under 10 takes and it took 11. Oh well. It's me out. Peace, yo.